No more riding, no more rodeos. If you don't stop, your seizures are gonna get worse. A powerful story about losing something you love and finding a new purpose. Sometimes dreams aren't meant to be. Real people with real stories play the characters in the movie. Brady Jandreau plays a rodeo rider, and his real-life best friend, Lane Scott, who was a patient at QLI, plays a major role in the movie. We got a call from a film director that said she was an independent filmmaker, and she's doing a movie um, that features Lane's best friend, and they would like to incorporate Lane's story in the movie. Scott was also a rodeo rider and was involved in a car accident that left him with significant brain injuries, arriving at QLI in 2016 for six months. One of the most touching scenes between Lane and Brady was filmed right in this room. For cowboys to ride. When you see the movie and you see the scene that's happening here, you know that those aren't actors. Those are two best friends that are having an amazing interaction. QLI Director of Creativity John Pearson said that filming only lasted three hours. A little over a year later, the movie was done and QLI previewed the film to make sure that Lane and brain injury were portrayed accurately. Hollywood has not done the best job of depicting brain injury. It's, you know, they'll show Steven Seagal. Uh, he's in a coma on Tuesday and on Wednesday he's rappelling down a building fighting ninjas. But Pearson said it turned out better than he could have imagined. And once we saw the movie, there was no doubt that we, we would be proud to, to be a part of that movie. May 19th, everyone involved with the movie, including their families, was reunited for the premiere at Film Streams. Lane, who left QLI in October 2016, was also front and center. And for the first time, they watched the story come to life together. I thought about the movie for days after, just about how remarkably delicately the story was told. For Cowboys to Ride. In Omaha, Naya Gonzalez, KETV Newswatch 7.